I love the uh, Venice camera. I love working in 16-bit uh, color space. I love the latitude of the camera, the way the camera gives me a flexibility to, to explore different lighting environments. The first time I used the Sony Venice extension system was on my last production where we had to do a couple of days with car interior work. I think Sony have been very creative in their thinking and, and, and their manufacturing of the Venice because it's a modular camera system that gives you, on one hand, a camera that's small and you can hold in the palm of your hand to a full 6K production camera that uh, delivers to the spec of companies like Netflix. We use the uh, Sony Venice extension system in combination with the Zeiss Supreme Primes, which I thought complemented the lightness of the um, extension block with a weight of uh, 1.9 kilos. The camera is very quick to work with. It really helped to speed up the day. The Venice extension system still allows you to use all the, the inbuilt NDs and the full function of the camera. You're able to work much faster with a smaller camera to achieve images that would have taken a lot more rigging time. We were able to shoot in a, a lift relatively quickly by using a handheld camera. We're able to move uh, with the camera in a much more freeform way. We're able to go from low to high to really throw the camera around in a way that a, a bulkier camera would have uh, taken a lot more uh, muscle power. We were trying to utilise creative ways of putting the camera where we needed to. Sometimes I just stood on a box and held the camera above my head. One of the earlier shots in the sequence is where we asked Fran to pick up the camera off the table. So the, um, the extension block is a flat back and we just laid it on the table and Fran picked it up and started singing. The Agito is a modular robotic dolly system that can mimic moves from track and dolly to a Steadicam man. Uh, it's just a, a nice easy way of being able to get stabilised shots. Having the main body of the camera tethered and the payload of the system down at the bottom of the Agito chassis and having such a small payload up high uh, enabled us to do fast, agile moves that you wouldn't be able to do with any other large format camera. It was a really good synergy between the two systems and one that I'll use in the future. It's a really exciting way of moving the camera on any terrain in a very controllable and fast way. We shot at 6K at an aspect ratio of 241 and we were shooting with the XOCN ST codec which actually gave us 67 minutes on one card, which was uh, impressive for a terabyte. The Sony Venice is new to me. My experiences recently were a pleasant one. We were on a drama in Jordan and the main unit was shooting on Venice. What was staggering was the low light capabilities. The images looked absolutely stunning. The high range of contrast that the camera handled was the impressive part. One of the key features that stood out was the native ISO of 2500. Night shots particularly were noise free, the blacks were solid black, there was no noise, and the highlights were handled extremely well. There was a clarity which I've never really seen before from uh, other cameras when we shot at night. Uh, the lens opens up to 2.9, which is pretty good, but uh, we were shooting at 2,500 ASA and I couldn't see any noise at all. So I had a big monitor, you can usually see that. I expect the Sony Venice to have a great take up. The full frame sensor is the advantage. We can use it in some of our systems with some of our existing lenses. So that widens its appeal. The Ve Venice has gained a lot of traction, especially with Netflix and the requirements of the deliverables. I've only just begun to explore the possibilities that the Venice extension system offers but I find that quite exciting to have a full production camera you can hold in the palm of your hand. It gives you the mobility and the ability to move with a camera in a very new way.